Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope we're doing great today. Happy Sunday. We got 10 matchups on this NBA slate today. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, guys. We're getting pretty close to 20K subs, so keep up the good work there. And uh, check out all my betting links in the description below. Really great promos with BetMGM. Get up to 1500 back in bonus bets if your first bet doesn't hit. Other great promos and boosts with FanDuel and DraftKings as well. So go ahead and check those out. And uh, yeah, we'll hop in it here. Busy slate today as we close out the weekend. We got 10 matchups. Starting with the Cleveland Cavaliers versus the Denver Nuggets. Denver opening up as a 5.5 point home favorite with the over-under at 213.5. Cavs coming into this matchup 45-29. and 29. Denver 51-23. and 23. Head-to-head -head Denver, 2-1 and one in the last three head-to-head -head meetings. Um, Jamal Murray is questionable. He did miss last game, so be sure to check his status. I uh, don't see any major injuries for Cleveland here. Uh, Cleveland coming off a, a nice Philly win. Denver coming off a little two-game losing streak, coming off a, Minnes a bad Minnesota loss. You know, two tough stretch against Phoenix and Minnesota here. Uh, Cleveland. One and five covering the spread. Haven't been the best covering the spread. One and four covering on the road. Denver. The overs hit in four of their last five against Cleveland. So maybe the overs a good play today. Um, the overs hit in five of their last seven at home. So I like Denver here. We'll see if Jamal Murray plays, but I'm still kind of making this pick, assuming Jamal Murray's probably going to be out. But Denver, tough place to play. I like Denver. Tough two-game stretch. I like them to bounce back. Give me Denver minus five and a half in money line at home. Next matchup, we got the Los Angeles Clippers versus the Charlotte Hornets. Clippers opening up as a 15-point road favorite with the over-under at 214 and a half. Clippers coming into this matchup 46 and 27. The Hornets 18 and 55. Head-to-head, -head, the Clippers are 10-0 in the last 10 head-to-head -head meetings. Been dominant in that uh, regard. Clippers on a two-game winning streak, coming off a Magic win. Charlotte coming off a Warriors loss. Clippers, yeah, 10-0 against Charlotte. 8-3 covering against Charlotte. 7-1 on the road against Charlotte. I mean, they've been dominant against Charlotte here. Uh, really, to me, not much confidence in Charlotte. I recommend throwing Clippers in a teaser. Maybe get some points shaved off there. That is a high point total. But I think I'm going to roll with the Clippers minus 15. Throw them in your parlays today on the road. Next matchup, we got the Los Angeles Lakers versus the Brooklyn Nets. Lakers opening up as a 5.5 point road favorite with the over-under at 225. Lakers coming into this matchup 42 and 33. The Nets 29 and 45. Head to head Brooklyn 6 and 4 in the last 10 head to head meetings. Uh, LeBron and AD are both questionable. Be sure to check their statuses. They aren't coming off a back to back, so usually I would say they're both in the, cl in the clear to play today. Lakers coming off a 19 point Pacers loss. Just a disappointing loss for the Lakers. The Nets on a little three-game winning streak coming off a Bulls win. Lakers. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're still playing well. They're 5-1 and one in their last six. Had a bad loss against the Pacers here. They're 4-2 and two covering the spread. The Unders hit in 14 of their last 17 on the road against Brooklyn. So maybe the Unders are a good play today. Um, yeah, with AD and LeBron suiting up. This has got to be a game they can beat Brooklyn on the road. They got to win these road games against the bottom five, you know, subpar teams under 500. They got to win these games. Give me the Lakers minus five and a half and money line on the road. Next matchup, we got the Miami Heat versus the Washington Wizards. Heat opening up as a 10 and a half point road favorite with the over under at 217. Uh, Heat coming into this matchup 40 and 33. The Wizards 14 and 60. Head to head Miami 6 and 4 in the last 10 head to head meetings. Miami coming off a Portland win. 
a big Portland win. They won. They actually won by. They actually won by 60 against Portland. Uh, so that's an insane game. Miami's coming off of Washington coming off a Detroit loss. Never gets more low, you know, in the league when you're coming off a Pistons loss here. So that is just not a good look for the Wizards. Uh, Miami 14 and six against Washington. Um, the over is hidden Washington six of their last nine against Miami. So maybe the over is a decent play today, but uh, yeah, Miami coming off their biggest win, probably of like all time and wizards coming off a Detroit loss. Give me the heat minus 10 and a half and money line on the road. Next matchup. We've got the Philadelphia 76ers versus the Toronto Raptors. Sixers opening up as an 11 point road favorite with the over under at 218 and a half. Sixers coming into this matchup 39 and 35. The Raptors 23 and 50. Head to head 76ers 7 and 3 in the last 10 head to head meetings. Uh, Philly on a three game losing streak coming off a Cleveland loss. Toronto still searching for their first win. I mean, they've lost their last 10 plus and beyond. Coming off a 44 point loss against the Knicks. It's just been brutal for Toronto with those injuries. Um, Billy 6 and 0 against Toronto. 5 and 1 covering against Toronto here. Yeah, there's just not much confidence in the Raptors. They've been they've really have just been getting blown out almost every game they've been blown out except for, you know, a couple games they hung around in. But yeah, I think I got to take the Sixers minus 11 and money line on the road. Next matchup, we got the Chicago Bulls versus the Minnesota Timberwolves. Minnesota opening up as an eight point home favorite with the over under at 212 and a half. Bulls coming into this matchup 35 and 39. Minnesota 51 and 22. Head to head the Bulls 6 and 4 in the last 10 head to head meetings. Chicago 1 and 4 in their last five, coming off a Brooklyn loss. Minnesota on a four game winning streak, coming off a big Denver win. Um. Gobert is questionable, so be sure to check his status. Same with Edwards. He's also questionable as well. Uh, Chicago, 1-8 covering on the road against Minnesota. Um, Minnesota, 7-1 covering the spread right now. 8-1 covering at home against Chicago here. I'm just going to assume that Anthony Edwards is good to go. And... Uh, I'm going to take Minnesota minus eight in money line at home. Next matchup, we got the Dallas Mavericks versus the Houston Rockets. Dallas opening up as a two point road favorite with the over under at 230. Dallas coming into this matchup 44 and 29. Houston 38 and 35. Head to head Dallas eight and two in the last 10 head to head meetings. Uh, Luke is questionable. Definitely be sure to check his status. And then the Mavs, I mean, hey, they're 9-1 in their last 10. They're on a six-game winning streak. Houston, you know, they've won their last 10. I mean, Houston is so hot right now, coming off a one-point Jazz win. Barely snuck out of that game. Uh, this is going to be a battle here. Uh, Dallas, 8-2 against Houston. They've been really good against the Rockets. 10-1 covering the spread right now. 6-1 covering on the road. Houston, seven and one covering in their last eight. I mean, yeah, the numbers are amazing for both teams here. The unders hit in Houston six of their last eight against Dallas, so maybe the unders are a good play today. But uh, yeah, Do Dallas, they've been dominant against the Rockets here. And this is going to be a tough one for Houston. Um, you know, you look at this path that Houston's on, it's been a very, it's not the most dominant. 10 plus game winning streak i mean they've played utah twice they've played washington twice they played cleveland they played the spurs they played the bulls they played portland they've only played two decent teams in okc and cleveland um you know who they beat but um look i, I love a good i love a good streak to be busted here especially with the maps playing well maybe it's a bias pick I don't know. Give me the Mavs minus two in money line as long as Luca's playing. 
They've been dominant against the Rockets and great covering the spread. Give me Mavs minus two and money line on the road. Next matchup, we got the Golden State Warriors versus the San Antonio Spurs. Warriors opening up as an eight and a half point road favorite with the over under at 226 and a half. Warriors coming into this matchup 39 and 34. The Spurs 18 and 56. Head to head Warriors 7 and 3 in the last 10 head to head meetings. Uh, Clay Thompson is questionable, so is Kaminga. Uh, no Keldon Johnson or Jeremy Sochin for the Spurs. Warriors on a three game winning streak. How about off a Charlotte win? A big three-game winning streak for the Warriors. They, they definitely needed some kind of streak here. Spurs quietly on a three-game winning streak. Coming off a big Knicks win. Uh, the Warriors 6-1 against the Spurs. 5-0 cover. I'm sorry, 5-0 straight up against the Spurs on the road. And then, yeah, and then 4-2 covering the spread. Um... Yeah, I like the Warriors here. You know, Spurs quietly on a little win streak. Um, but this is this is this is a little this is a Warriors momentum game here. Keep the streak going, which they need. They got to be able to beat teams, bad teams like the Spurs on the road, because uh, they're in a tight race in the West. Give me this Warriors minus eight and a half and money line on the road. Next matchup, we've got the Oklahoma City Thunder versus the New York Knicks. Knicks opening up as a three-point home favorite with the over-under at 215. Thunder coming into this matchup 51 and 22. The Knicks 44 and 29. Head-to-head -head OKC 8 and 2 in the last 10 head-to-head -head meetings. And no SGA again today for the Thunder. The Thunder coming off a big Phoenix win. You know, they look very good against the Suns without SGA in the lineup. You got the Knicks coming off a tough Spurs loss. And uh, OKC 8-2 against the Knicks, 8-2 covering against the Knicks, 5-0 covering on the road against the Knicks here. And um, yeah, you would have thought they would have, you know, kind of lost their tempo with SGA out of the lineup. The complete opposite. They controlled and dominated that Phoenix game. OKC is a good enough team. You know, they can be without SGA for, you know, a couple games and still, I think, manage the ship. And uh, Knicks coming off a devastating loss. And then OKC's just been so good against them. And so good covering the spread here. And great on the road. I think people... One, th one trend I've noticed this season, guys, covering NBA. Whenever a star player's out, a lot of the money and everything goes on the other team. Because it makes sense. The star player's out. What does the team end up doing? The team ends up winning outright without their star player. I've seen it time and time and time again all season long. And um, I don't know. This just smells like a scenario where that could happen. Give me the Thunder plus three on the road. Then the last matchup, we got the Utah Jazz versus Sacramento Kings. Kings opening up as a 12 and a half point home favorite with the over under at 223. Jazz coming into this matchup 29 and 45. The Kings 42 and 31. Head-to-head. -head. Sacramento 3-0 and in the last three head-to-head -head meetings. Uh, Utah 1-9 and in their last 10. They're on an eight-game losing streak right now. Sacramento on a two-game losing streak coming off back-to-back -back Dallas losses. Uh, Utah 1-5 and against Sacramento. 0-10 oh on the road. They, they cannot win on the road here. This has got to be a game for Sacramento at home. The overs hit in six of their last nine against Utah. So maybe the over is a good play today. And uh, yeah, bad two game stretch for Sacramento. I think they bounce back big here against the Jazz, who's they've just been struggling big time. Give me the Kings minus 12 and a half and money line at home. That's going to be it for the video. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Sunday. Hope you guys all cash out and I'll see you guys Monday. Have a good one.